Just over a year since former President Donald Trump was impeached over a Ukraine phone call back in December of 2019, the Democrat-controlled House of Representatives again voted to impeach Trump on January 11 of 2021. This time, the issue is a speech alleged to have encouraged Capitol Hill protesters who swarmed the building, an incident which quickly grew out of control and is tied to several deaths. That makes Donald Trump the first president to be impeached by Congress twice. But now that he's out of office, what happens next? According to leading Democrats, a Senate-led impeachment trial, which could have long-term consequences for Trump and prevent him from running again, is still going forward, even though there's a new commander-in-chief. The Senate will also conduct a second impeachment trial for Donald Trump. I've been speaking to the Republican leader about the timing and duration of the trial, but make no mistake, a trial will be held in the United States Senate, and there will be a vote whether to convict the president. That could begin as soon as the coming week, when House Speaker Nancy Pelosi says she'll send the articles of impeachment to the upper chamber, formally beginning the process. I have spoken to Speaker Pelosi, who informed me that the articles will be delivered to the Senate on Monday. The Senate will conduct a trial of the impeachment of Donald Trump. It will be a full trial. It will be a fair trial. But make no mistake, there will be a trial. But many questions still remain. Among them, will enough Republicans side with their more liberal colleagues to convict Trump? And even so, is it even constitutional to move forward with the president out of the White House? Some conservatives, including minority leader Mitch McConnell, now say they're on board with the impeachment proceedings. Senate Republicans strongly believe we need a full and fair process where the former president can mount a defense and the Senate can properly consider the factual, legal, and constitutional questions at stake. By Senate rules, if the article arrives, we have to start a trial right then. Those constitutional questions aren't easy to answer, however. America's founding document and basis for federal law talks about the process of removing a president, but does not go into detail about how to deal with a figure who is no longer sitting in office. Legal scholars are still debating that issue, but Democrats, unsurprisingly, are pushing forward. I'm Benjamin Ari, reporting for Newsnet.